head into one of our favorite spots, Target. We're taking back our daughter's old car seat. Um, if you guys are unfamiliar, Target has a car seat return program where you can return your old car seat and you get a coupon, I believe like 20% off and you can use it towards either another car seat or another like baby item. So that's what we're going to do. Seats. These are so cute. We also have these. Halloween, Halloween. Well, these are kind of like fall Halloween. There's a the little trick or treat sign you can put by the door. Can you like mommy? Yes. So cute. Really like this guy. This is so cute. Oh, it's like plastic. I thought it was like ceramic or something. This is so cute. And then if you put like a little pumpkin, let's try. Oh, these are like even more plasticky. Feel this. Oh, yeah. Mama, look! Isn't he cute down there? Hello there! Boo and cool! I don't want to beg, but... Oh, I love you, Sam! Something sweet! We're trying to figure out what costume to get and her. She got her. So you want to show them your Halloween you. bucket? How are you going to say trick or treat? Candy! Yeah, you're going to say trick or treat. Show them your bucket. Trick or treat! Trick or treat. Trick or treat. So she got her Halloween bucket. Last year she used like a little felt bucket, so I'm glad that she got this one. It's a little bit more sturdy. The infamous Target pumpkins.
cutest little Halloween stuff. Some scary and some cutesy. We don't really celebrate Halloween, but I do like to decorate just because our daughter is still really young. But I like to decorate with more of like the little cute little pumpkins and stuff, but I couldn't help but look at all the scary stuff. home and before I wrap the video up I wanted to share with you guys everything that we picked up first thing I got was this little skeleton statue I thought this was so cute now it is made of plastic which I'm glad because a lot of their um, pumpkins and certain decor pieces are made from ceramic so I was a little bit worried that if it was made of ceramic and it's something that you put by your front door it could accidentally get knocked over but really glad that it's made of a really strong plastic material here is the photo on the top that gives you an idea of what it looks like if you put little um, pumpkins on the top. And then I also put one of the pumpkins in the store on top. We didn't pick up a pumpkin for this just yet because I'm still trying to decide what my color um, scheme layout is gonna look like, but I wanted to get him. There's also a little jack-o'-lantern, but they didn't have it out just yet in the store. I'm just excited that they even had this. I believe they had maybe two or three, so got this. This was 15 bucks. The second Halloween item we got was this little pumpkin here. This one is supposed to light up. I was trying to click the little on off switch. I'm assuming the battery just needs to be replaced, but this is what this looks like. This is extremely light. As you can see, I'm holding it on my pinky finger. This is also made of plastic and this was also 15 bucks. I also got these infamous and I call them infamous because I feel like everyone who is a decor fan has these little threshold pumpkins now these were $15 and it says that it's the threshold large cream ceramic pumpkin this is what I was talking about when I said that a lot of their items are ceramic so if you unfortunately drop this it would crack to pieces but this is what it looks like so cute they have this particular size. I've only ever seen it in this cream color, but they have these ceramic pumpkins in the large size. They also have medium, which I believe is $10. And then they have the small one, which is five. The medium and small comes in different colors. I believe I showed it in the video, but this large one, I've only ever seen it in this cream color. Glad that I got these. If you're unable to get your hands on these in Target, I believe Bed Bath & Beyond has a very similar version. Um, so check out Bed Bath & Beyond if you're not able to get it at Target. And I think the Bed Bath & Beyond version is slightly cheaper than the one at Target. Taking in the home decor category, I also got this beautiful little copper tone uh, tray. This was $20. It's by Threshold, the Studio McGee collection, and it's just called a decorative tray. Now something like this, of course, you can use it for whatever you want. My intention for this is to either use it as a little perfume tray or I may use it as a candle holder. I just had to get my hands on this because I thought it was so beautiful. It is on the smaller side, but I feel like it's a nice small, if that makes any sense. And it's also has some good weight to it. It's not very heavy, but it has like some pretty good weight to it. So glad that I got my hands on this. I also picked up this cookbook holder from the Hearth and Hand collection. Right now at the time of me filming this video, this is the last Saturday of the summer, the Hearth and Hand items are 20% off. So this is normally $19.99. I believe I got it for $14.99. So here is the tag underneath. Again, it's by Hearth and Hand. It's wooden with um, gold accents on here, really cute. The next batch of items I got are all clothing. I decided to get a couple of items from the Kalana Bartman Brown collection with Target. I believe that's her name. Yeah, Kalana, sorry, Barfield Brown. This is what her tags and Kalana looks like. So I decided to get these beautiful denim pants that everyone's been, well, not everyone, a lot of people in um, the Target video halls have been getting. 
These fit so beautifully. My husband, he's so silly. When I showed it to him, he was like, Hammer, Hammer. You remember Ham, MC Hammer back in the day with the, the big billowy pants? This does not fit like Hammer pants. These are absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm not a fashion girl, but I'll go ahead and insert either a video of a, or a photo of me trying these pants on because you just have to see for yourself. They truly are beautiful pants. So I got these in a size four. Typically I wear a size six or a medium, but I got these in a four because this was the smallest size that they had left. All the other size were um, plus size, plus sizes. So I got this and I figured I'll take it home, try it on. If it doesn't work, I'll take it back. So glad that it worked and I'm so glad that I picked it up because typically I wouldn't get a size four unless it's like Banana Republic. For some reason in Banana Republic, I can wear a size two or a size four. The other item that I got from the collection were these gorgeous pants. It kind of has the same style as those denim pants, but they're slightly different. These are kind of like a, again, I'm not a fashion girl. I want to say these are like a polyester material. I'm not sure, but they're red and it has this beautiful little um, satin stripe down the center. Again, I'll insert a little something here on the side of me trying them on. Now these came in small, medium, large, extra large. I decided to get these in a size small. Again, this is the smallest size they had remaining. I'm not sure when this collection came out. I think it came out maybe about a week ago, um, a week prior to me filming this video. So I feel like I'm pretty late to this collection at Target. I'm glad that I at least got two items. They also had a beautiful red cable knit sweater and I was hoping to get that so I can wear it with this, but unfortunately they didn't have it in my size. I may go online and see if maybe I can get it there. The remaining items are for my daughter. By the way, here in Jersey, this is ripped as you can see, but here in Jersey, a lot of stores have done away with plastic bags. Is that the same case in your neck of the woods? Um, especially the supermarkets, the grocery stores in the area, so you have to carry your own bag. Target is one of those stores that they don't give you those plastic Target bags anymore. So we have a ton of these little bags at home. And these are cool and everything, but as you can see, it rips very easily. So if you put anything heavy inside of these bags, then that's it. We have a ton of them here at home. We have a ton of them in our car. So we just use it to bring our things from the store to the car and then home. Sometimes they rip, sometimes we can reuse them. But anyways, so we just stuff our daughter's things inside of this little bucket, which is probably the reason why the bag ripped. It probably caught on the bucket. But I forgot, we also got her this little bucket for trick-or-treating. Just a regular clear bucket. This was a dollar. They had this color and they also had a blue. I'm pretty sure they probably had other colors like pink probably, but that's all they had at the time. Um, so let's see here. In no particular order, we got her these fleece lined leggings. This is what it looks like. We typically get this for her every season. I wasn't able to get them for her last season because her size was just sold out. And unfortunately, they only had this gray color in her size. So I'm gonna go online and try to get her some more. These are perfect for our daughter, especially when it's cold outside because the fleece lining really keeps her warm. So we got this. And everything that we picked up for her as far as clothing is from the Cat and Jack brand. This was $8. We also got her these little leggings, also from Cat and Jack, and these were $5. The leggings are almost always $5. A lot of the time you can catch them on sale and get them for a little bit less, but $5, you can't beat it. And this is something we purchase for her constantly. We also got her this matching long sleeve tee, same print as the legging. And I love to get these Cat and Jack long sleeve t-shirts for my daughter. It's the perfect thing for her to wear whenever the weather is transitioning. This is the last weekend of summer. It's sunny outside, but at nighttime, it definitely dips down. Early in the mornings, it's very chilly. So I love to put on these long sleeve t-shirts on her when she goes to school and she can just hike up her sleeve and be comfortable. So got her this. Oh, actually, I just realized these are two different patterns, whoops. So she won't be wearing these two together. We also got her this print. Again, Cat and Jack long sleeve t-shirt, $6 if I haven't mentioned that already. And then the last thing we got for her was this beautiful lilac color. This one was $5. I guess the solid prints are one price and the pattern prints are another price. 
That is everything from my Target haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any comments below. If not, I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.